when you found out? Uh, Walsh, Walsh called me. <laughs> like that, somebody in the back like that. Um, we found out very late, and, and again, you know, I, I don't know how you go from being active, available, to out. And I'm sure the league will do their due diligence and because that's frowned upon. And we've had situations this year where we've talked to the league and they told us if a player goes from being active to out, that there's going to be an investigation. It's the Burner Man back with Burner Talks. And today we're going to be talking about Mike Malone and what he had to say about Joel Embiid. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Do you really think, Mike Malone, that Joel Embiid is playing hurt because he wants to duck the smoke from Joker? Let's be honest. A couple weeks ago, how many did Joel Embiid have against Joker? He had 40. And do you think there was gonna be any kind of difference if he would have played? He is not scared of Joker. If anything, he feels disrespected. At the end of the day, he feels like he's the best center in the world. Why wouldn't he play if he could go? He's clearly hurt. He clearly hurt his knee against Indiana. He warmed up and he couldn't go. You're talking about an investigation. How many times, anybody watching this video, how many times have you seen a guy warm up, go through his warm ups, and he's just like, bro, I just can't, I can't go. I'm hurting, I just can't go today. It happens all the time in professional sports. This is no different. And you're talking about a man that can only miss maybe five to six more games to even be eligible to be an MVP. Why would he miss this game? You know what I'm saying? Why would he purposely miss this game if he's not hurt? He just wouldn't do that. And why, like I said, why would he miss a game against Joker when the eyes are gonna be on them when so, when Joel Embiid is arguably having one of the best scoring gears we've ever seen in the NBA? And people aren't even talking about it. Why not display that? He's obviously hurt, bruh. He's hurt, bruh. He even missed the game after that. So. For you to come out and say, you're pretty much cryptically saying, you know what I'm saying? I think he might be faking. No, bro. I don't think so. And you're talking about a guy who's actually 6-2 and two against Joker, bro. I don't think he's faking this just one bit. Um, and also, when it comes to injuries, injuries are delicate, man. You can't tell a man how he feels, how he doesn't feel. Like, bro, come on, bro. Like, you just can't come out. It just try to criticize this man. Um, so I think Mike Malone was even wrong for even saying those comments um, or even pretty much secretly implying what he said. Uh, but it is what it is. Mike Malone, you know, that's what he does. You know what I'm saying? He, he does more trash talking than his own players. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, I mean, that's his character. I mean, that's fine if you want to do that. But come on, bro. It's just like when you went against the Lakers and you beat the Lakers, you know, the whole summer, the whole time. I mean, after the series, you're just talking. You still got LeBron's name in your mouth. You're like, bro, you you seem like you're the, like you the brother of Skip Bayless at this point. Like, bro, just let, let people hoop, bro. Like, you ain't got to say all this extra stuff bro you know what i'm saying like i said you saying more than the players saying gang like relax bro you're not on the court i know you wish you was on the court but you're not on the court anymore bro but that's enough of my rant today you guys let me know what you guys think about this do you think mike malone was out of line for saying this do you think he's right he should have played since he warmed up and he just couldn't go do you think he's ducking the nuggets and joker let me know all this in the comment section also don't forget to like up the video let's see if we can get this video to at least 10 likes before we get to 100 views and y'all already know who it is